fill the budget holes to charge people more to ride mass transit. The Malloy administration plan would raise fares on Shoreline East and Connecticut transit buses, but the biggest height would be on Metro North. News 8's Ken Pierce on the scene in Darien with riders who want to put the brakes on that plan. The latest idea being floated in Hartford about how to close the budget gap is to raise all of Metro North's fares by 15%. And as you can probably guess, what commuters are saying is any raising of their fares is unfair. I don't know much about it, but it seems like they could probably do a better job with the money that they already have. Not a good idea. You know, it sucks. That pretty well sums up reaction commuters have to the idea of making Metro North rides 15% more expensive. For riders buying the monthly pass here in Neroten Heights, that means an extra $40 a month. The chairman of the Rail Commuter Council says it's probably a ploy to get the unions back to the bargaining table in Hartford. However, I can't assume that that's the case. So the commuter council is moving forward to reach out to the uh, leadership of the legislature. The leadership could call for public hearings on the fair hike. The idea of paying more is particularly hard to take after a winter when so many trains broke down they actually had to print new reduced schedules and at a time when introducing the new beautiful M8 rail cars is about a year and a half behind schedule. And I think that's why Metro North and the Connecticut DOT didn't have the guts to come forward and ask for a fare increase because they knew the service wasn't worth what commuters were paying for, let alone asking for a fare increase. Cameron says he supports fare hikes when they're tied to better service and conditions, but there's already a 1.5% fare increase coming in January with little to show in terms of improvements. He says Metro North commuters are just easy prey in Hartford because they have to get to their jobs no matter what the cost. I still got to get into the city, so still cheaper than uh, driving in, I guess. And what Cameron says might happen if folks here in Fairfield County are forced to swallow a 15% fare hike is he says they'll just move down to Westchester County where the fare won't be as high. On the scene in Darien, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8. And be sure